Chapter 6, Lesson 4, Algebra, Write Expressions. To write words as algebraic expressions, define the variable by choosing a variable and deciding what it represents. Examples. Write each phrase as an algebraic expression. Number 1. $8 more than Jake earned. So first, let's define a variable for what is unknown in the phrase. What is unknown is what Jake earned. So we can define this with a variable, and you can pick any variable or any letter that you want. I'm going to label it as J for what Jake earned. So the algebraic expression is $8 more than what Jake earned. So our expression would be whatever Jake earned plus $8 more than that. Number two, $10 less than the original price. Again, the unknown is the original price. So I'm going to define the variable and I'm going to label this as P for price. And we want to write a phrase that represents $10 less than that price. So whatever the price was, we would do minus 10 to find $10 less of the original price. Number three, four times the number of gallons. The number of gallons is unknown. We don't know how many gallons. So I'm going to define the variable and label it G. And we want to write an expression that is four times the number of gallon. So four times G, which can be written as 4G. Pause the video here to check for understanding and try these yourself. Remember, our variables might be different, but as long as the expression is written the same, then your answer is still correct. Examples. Write each phrase as an algebraic expression. Number four. Five less than three times the number of points. So the number of points is what's unknown, so I'm going to define it with the variable p. We want three times the number of points, so that part can be written as 3p, and then we want five less than three times the number of points, or five less than 3p. So 5 less than 3p would be 3p minus 5. Number 5, 3 more than 4 times the cost of a pretzel. The cost of a pretzel is the unknown, and I'm going to label it with the variable p. Now first we can show 4 times the cost of a pretzel, so we can write that as 4p. Next we want 3 more than four times the cost of a pretzel, or three more than 4p. So that gives us an algebraic expression of 4p plus three. Example six, Terry brought a magazine for $5 and two bottles of nail polish. Write an expression to show the total amount she spent. Then find the total amount if each bottle of nail polish costs $3. So. We know that she bought a magazine for $5, so part of her total cost is $5. Then she bought two bottles of nail polish, but we don't know how much the nail polishes cost yet. So we're going to label the bottles of nail polish, or the cost of them, as N. So she spent $5 for a magazine plus two bottles of nail polish that were N dollars each, which we don't know yet. So this could be an expression that's used to find the total amount she spent. So now if we knew that each nail polish cost $3, now we can plug in 3 for n. So 5 plus 2 times 3. So order of operations says we need to do multiplication first, which gives us 6. Bring everything down, and her total cost would be $11. So here's an example of an expression and then the total cost would represent 11. Pause the video here and try these yourself to check for understanding. 